And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, my name is Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Spell Smashers. Now, Spell Smashers is a game which looks like a dungeon crawl when you look at the cover. Bravery, Righteous, Hamster! Okay, but what this game really is, is it, it's a word-building game. In fact, even though the theme of this game is a dungeon crawl, go in and fight monsters, you could hate that, like hate monsters and dragons and all that, but still really enjoy this game because when it comes down to the end of the day, this game is about making words with cards, like Scrabble and things like that. Let me show you. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of pieces here all over the board, but we're going to be focusing first on the monsters. So you're going to have the three monsters uh, available at different times, or more monsters. I'm sorry, this is three monsters in a three-player game. Each monster is going to have a certain number of hit points on them, which is going to be, this is randomly, so here we have a Blasphemous Fenrir, and so this one here would be 11 plus 7. So a six would be 17, so I'd put 17 coins here. The money is essentially their life points. This monster also adds two to other monsters. So this monster, would, this bleak centaur, which would normally be a 12, is actually a 14. And this ferocious trickster, instead of being an 18, would actually be 20 coins that you'd put there. Now, some of these, there's a star there. Some of these are starter ones. I'm not putting out just the starter ones. I want to put out various ones that you would see over the course of a game. So there's going to be all different sorts of combinations of monsters. This one adds two to other monsters. This one's weak against water. This one's strong against fire. And there's going to be all sorts of various things. As monsters are defeated, new monsters are going to come out. Players themselves are going to have their own player board. This is where you're going to keep track of different things. One of the things here is you're going to have quests. Um, as the game goes by, you're going to have some quests, and these quests are going to be giving you points over the course of this game, and you'll do them if you do something. So I form a word that starts and ends with a vowel. Boom, I completed this for two points. Uh, this one, form a word that has six consonants. Form a word that has three wounds. Form a word that's exactly nine letters long. Deal eight damage of a single type, etc., etc. Each person also has a starting stick, which has deal plus one damage if your word has five letters. Players will start with a handful of four consonants and three vowels from two different piles over here. And at the beginning of the game, you are at the beginning of each round, and there's going to be seven rounds over the course of the game. You are first going to create a word here. So let's see here. I can create the word tame. That's pretty good. Or meat. Or I'm trying to think of a good word here. Oh, create. So C-E-R-A-T-E. -E. Everyone is going to be making their words at the same time. When you're ready, you'll put a little token here that's not ready. You'll flip it over to ready. And then people will reveal their words. Whoever has the most letters in their word is going to go first. And then they're going to pick one of the monsters to deal damage to. So this one does two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. It does damage of all three types, water, earth, and fire. Although there is also like a random wild type that can count as either of those. Now I might want to attack the centaur here because he's weak to water. Water will do double damage. So this would actually be four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, plus my starting stick says deal plus 1 damage if I have 5 or more letters, and I do. So here, I'm going to deal 13 damage to him. Unfortunately, he has 12 on him. So I take the 13 damage, and I get the coins, and that's money that I have. Whoever does the killing blow to any creature also will take this token, which is two things. One, it's worth three points at the end of the game, and you can also put it here under monster trophies, and you can always use this letter in future words. So it gives me a permanent C that is two earth damage. And then you'll replace it, so maybe the next monster would be a bewitched kraken, and that will show up between rounds. New monsters are going to come. So you're going to pick monsters to attack. Maybe you don't want to set the next person up for the kill. Maybe you just want to get a bunch of coins. You'll try to pick the, this one strong as fire. So in this case, uh, the A would have done no damage to them. When you kill a monster, they will often cause wounds to you. Not always, but often cause wounds. So when that happens, you will draw one or more wound cards. 
Whatever cards you use in the words you make are discarded. They're gone. You'll have to draw new cards. Wound cards also have letters on them. Uh, you'll notice they're not letters I'm going to use as often, X or K, or maybe there are groups of letters, A, T. And they don't do a ton of damage either. And you can use those in future words. That's one way to get rid of your wounds. Between turns, players are going to be drawing more uh, of these quest cards and then they're going to go to town and when you go to town there are various features that you can do when you go to town you can go to the armory and pay five coins to draw two cards and keep one these are going to be things that you'll be able to use against future ones and whenever you go out to fight you'll pick which you can use one weapon and one piece of armor so for example here's a few weapons here's the grifted greaves i take two less wounds if i have the lowest initiative the fewest letters in my word here, I, uh, excellent bow, do three plus wild damage if your word is six more letters. Do plus two damage for each fire card in your word. So before you go out, you can pick one of these to attack with. You can also buy potions. There are three different kinds of potions. One changes a letter to something else. Another one gets rid of one of your wounds. And this one can change one damage to another one. You can also go to the tavern where you can pay three and for every wound card in your hand, you get a drink. Someone buy you a drink for telling a great story. And these are simply going to be points at the end of the game. And if you have five or more wounds, you have to go to the Shaman. And here you will, uh, basically you have to give up one of your monster trophies and then get rid of all your wounds. So each player will pick one of those things to do. Then they will redraw back up to seven cards. So wounds will clutter up your hand of seven cards. And you'll, of course you'll keep cards that you've already had. And you can draw from the consonant or the vowel pile. And you can draw them one at a time until you get some more letters for another word. And you'll go on and you'll keep going. At the end of seven rounds, whoever has the most points is the winner. Points are going to come from beer from completed quests, from monster trophies. Not from money itself. Money is going to be some points, but not much. You're better off using it uh, to do other things over the course of the game. Most points is the winner. The game comes with a whole pile of various monsters. So calamitous, perilous, unpleasant, enraged, nightmarish, mortiferous. You know, the, the, hey, it's vocabulary right there. And then there are a certain amount of uh, hit points and all. I think the highest a monster can get would be uh, 25, I think. And you have all sorts of monsters here. The ogre, the pixie. So you can see the artwork here is really well done. You have different letters of the alphabet here. And hey, it's like uh, my alphabet of fantasy monsters. Elemental and Quetzal. I don't even know what all the monsters are, but most of them I recognize. The components themselves are fine. I especially enjoy that the potions themselves, they have some cool looking potions here, but on the other side of the potion, it reminds you what that exact potion does. And I also like all the different artwork on the various armor and things you can get. There's a lot of uh, unique pieces of art in this game. The These cards are a little boring. The quest cards, I guess they're fine. I, and also, for some reason, that VP looks like, I'm like, two up. Is, do I get it? Did I get extra lives? But it's victory points. But overall, everything looks nice. There's a little piece here that you can use to keep track of uh, who has initiative each round. So it's a pretty cool looking game overall. I kind of wonder like who this game is necessarily for. Don't get me wrong, I like the game. I think it's a lot of fun. I like dungeon crawls. I like word games. Hey, chocolate peanut butter. But that's for me. I don't know how many mixes of that. I don't, I don't know how many people playing a dungeon crawl going, I wish I could make it as a word game. Or people playing word games going, I wish it was themed around a dungeon crawl. It seems like an odd smash up to me that's not going to appeal to a ton of people. Although I think it will appeal to some. And it does work in both ways. As long as you don't think to, I will fight you by using this magic word of senator. <laughs> you know, so it's a word game. You're putting cards together to make words. Uh, think along the lines of, you know, basically just generic words. You can't make proper nouns and things like that. So it's your typical how you make word games. But in this case, you're also looking at what damage the cards do, which monster is the best one to hit. Usually you want to get as much money as you can, but you want to kill a monster because that's worth points. Or you might want to uh, do something to accomplish the quest the, the quest uh, cards in your hand, the victory point cards, those are really where the game is won or lost. Money is not points in this game. I mean, it can be transferred to points, but not many. And so you're using money to 
by boasting. I mean, getting a lot of wounds and continually buying boasting is a very good way to get a lot of points over the course of this game. You know, you get three wounds and you, you know, you deliberately find monsters that give you wounds. You go in and you boast. You get three victory points every turn. You can do a lot getting points that way and accomplishing the quests. Killing the monsters is almost secondary to that. And getting cool weapons and all that is neat, but again, it's kind of secondary to actually scoring points over the course of the game. The game comes down to can you make big words? There's usually not a benefit to making weird words or small words. You want to make big words. There's some nice concepts. I like the idea that wounds are in your hand and become letters that you can use. And so you can get rid of them, but they're going to be maybe a little bit harder. Although sometimes a wound is exactly what you're looking for. I like the going to town. I like the fact that everyone is playing pretty much simultaneous and only when you reveal the words and one at a time attack the monsters are you really interacting with the other players that much. And it just, it just works. So for me, the whole game works overall. I have a lot of fun playing it. Like I said, though, I'm not quite sure if there's a bigger audience for this. Um, but the mix is good. Comparing it to other word games, I think Paperback, which is another game that mixes deck building with this, I think I might like that one a little bit better than this one. But this one, the art and everything is beautiful. I, I like the whole, I like the dungeon crawl theme a lot. And there's some, you know, you have a little bit of panache as you go through this and you may add a little bit of flair. Look at the words I'm making. I mean, on the front here, bravery, hamster, righteous. That all sounds well and good, although your words are likely going to be pencil and happy and <laughs> who knows. But uh, it, it's a good combo. That is Spell Smashers from Renegade Games. Dice Tower Judgment. So there I was. I was fighting this monster. It was the biggest monster you've ever seen. Approved.